Welcome Kansas Chiefs fans. Today, I bring another incredible piece of news about our beloved team. At this moment, I would like to ask for your support, so go ahead and hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Patrick Mahomes was walking a tightrope, navigating in three different directions while negotiating his revised contract with the Kansas City Chiefs, effectively making him the highest paid player in the league for the next four years. Mahomes wanted to maximize his income. He wanted to leave room in the salary cap for the Chiefs to continue surrounding him with talent in the championship. And he wanted to keep raising the bar for other players seeking contracts in the league. You have to watch and see what's happening in the league and find the right place, Mahomes said on Wednesday in his first comments since the restructuring of his deal. I think we found a good deal that we made to keep space for other guys to sign, but obviously, I have more money up front, and we will renegotiate when the time comes. Mahomes still has nine years left on his 10-year, $450 million contract, which set the overall value standard when signed in 2020. The revision essentially shifts some of the money from the last five seasons to the first four, giving him $210.6 million in that period, the most in four seasons in NFL history. Mahomes is set to earn $56.85 million this season, $44.5 million next season, $50 million in 2025, and $56.76 million in the 2026 season, at which point the Chiefs and his representatives have agreed to meet again and discuss the future. You have a lot of great players that I want to be here so we can win a lot of Super Bowls, Mahomes said. I want to make a lot of money, but I also want to win. You look at players and how they won and the perception of how they did things, and that's what I want to try to manage. The Chiefs are approaching a crucial point in the future of their burgeoning dynasty. All-Pro defensive tackle Chris Jones is not under contract after this season, agreeing only to a restructured one-year deal to end his holdout last week. Left tackle Donovan Smith, linebacker Willie Gay Jr., and cornerback Legereus Sneed are also looking at the possibility of free agency, meaning the Chiefs may have many gaps to fill before next season. Then there's Pro Bowl center Creed Humphrey, right guard Trey Smith, and standout linebacker Nick Bolton, all eligible for contract extensions after the season, and all of them will come at a high price. That's why the two-time league MVP placed such importance on finding the right contract, not necessarily the richest one. I've always liked that, Mahomes said about the negotiation process. If I didn't become an NFL player, I wanted to be a sports agent or work in sports marketing. I've always wanted to help players. I know I'm doing it in a different way than some people, but I feel like it's the right path for me. I hope we're giving ourselves a chance to go out there and win football games too. Chiefs coach Andy Reid, who handled personnel decisions in Philadelphia but relinquished control in Kansas City, was impressed with how Mahomes maintained balance even as the value of his contract skyrocketed. He doesn't get caught up in it too much. He just moves on like most things and wants to keep getting better, Reed said. That's what he's doing. That's what makes him unique. You don't sit there and say, oh, he's going to be disappointed. You just say, hey, congratulations, and move on. That's how he rolls. But I'm happy for him. In other news on Wednesday, the Chiefs were missing several key players due to injuries as they began training for Sunday's game against the Bears. Bolton is dealing with an ankle sprain, and Gay has a quadriceps bruise, and while both underwent initial evaluations, neither of them planned to practice. Running back Isaiah Pacheco is dealing with a thigh tendon injury, Kadarius Tony has a toe twist, and fellow wide receiver and return specialist Richie James has a knee ligament injury that Reed acknowledged could keep him sidelined for a while. Most of them are just day-to-day, -day, Reed said. Richie might take a little longer. 
What did you think of today's video? So, go ahead and share your opinion in the comments, and don't forget to hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.